You know, that particular song, someone actually tweeted, said, did Timida Kolo pay Channels TV to play his song every Saturday? But Which, if we have to play that song, song, seriously, if we have to play that song every second, we need to understand one thing, Nigerians. This is all we have. I mean, do you have another passport? No. <laughs> I have, only I only have a green passport. A green passport. I'm a Nigerian and I love this country, Nigeria. Thank you. And he's a Nigerian and he has sung a beautiful song. So we need to Honestly, support him. Play his song and let everybody enjoy that song. And listen, don't just enjoy it. Listen to the Listen words. to the lyrics. This is all we have. Oh. Yes. But talking about all we have, we have love in the air. Yes, indeed, love in the air. Alejo, this morning, when I saw her, first thing I saw her, as I saw her, she beamed this smile that radiated across the room. Oh. That was before we said Happy Valentine's Day. But oh. beyond that is the fact that, yes, it's a season of love, but does it have to be limited to this season of love? Today's Valentine's I Day. I said that earlier. Uh, okay, okay, yes, I borrowed yes. it. So, love every day. And guess what? When you love, it actually makes you a better person. Yes. Because you're feeling for somebody else. You're empathizing with somebody else. And it makes you a better person. So why not do it every day? Not yeah. just on Valentine's Day. And yet people say it has to be on Valentine's Some people say it has to be, more <laughs> espe especially so on Valentine's Day. Well, it's been, so. especially so. It's been tied to several traditions. Many stories about the origins of Valentine. It's tied to a Roman, I mean, an ancient Roman tradition. It's tied to a priest who had to give his life to, to encourage love among soldiers. All sorts of stories tied around Valentine's Day. It's also been tied to a poem, a 14th century poem by, what's his name? Chaucer. Chaucer. Yeah. Uh, what's the title of that poem? I'm trying to remember now. Something of Fowls, that was a poem, uh, Chaucer's poem, Something of Fowls, and I, I can't remember exactly the full title of that poem, but be that as it may. Do Nigerians know who Chaucer is? They don't read those books anymore. No, do... <laughs> but that's talk for another that, day. That's talk for another day. We'll get back to book reading. Maybe we'll send you to the book club to talk about that. But being Valentine's Day, what is it about Valentine's Day that makes it so, um, so different? Some people say, like Christmas, you actually smell it in the air. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I smelled. We I smelled sp election. I smelled election <laughs> in the air. But anyhow, we're going to talk love. That's in the next few minutes, and I let Alero yes. do the honors of introducing yes. this guest. It's my pleasure to welcome, and we haven't seen her in some time. The Merchant of Romance. Yes, She's here this morning. Onyeko Alabi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And too. we also have the pastor in charge of family. House on the Rock, Mr. Pastor Yinka Akimbami. Good morning. Good morning. It'd be nice to hear the pastor's perspective to all of this. I can't wait. Yeah, let's start from there. Well, I mean, um, uh, let, let me speak right. I was going to say before God made me a pastor, um, I'm a man first. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you buy flowers on Valentine's Day? Oh, yeah. I mean, I buy more than flowers. I mean, I... Oh, um, lucky Mrs. Akimbami. Yes, although she's not in the country at the moment, so... Oh, we, we've had she's to, missed out. I was waiting for her. Well, um, you just said that um, every day should be for love. So Indeed. Uh, even though it is uh, accentuated uh, during Today. the Valentine season, yeah. uh, but love should be expressed every day, every single day. Yeah. Um, but I was going to also balance what I said, that being a pastor was also uh, uh, given to me before I became a man. You know, so now I'm speaking spiritually. So I'm, I'm being very, very careful. Uh, when I said, now you got us confused. When I said I'm a man first, <laughs> um, that is to the, to the human eye, to uh, what is visible. Uh, people who got to know me got to know me as a man first and then got to know me as eventually pastor. as a pastor. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, God knew me first as, as, a pastor. as who he ordained me to be before I eventually became a man. So that's, that's, that's the balance okay. that to mm -hmm. put in that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, love, am I to talk about love or about Valentine's Day? 
Put it all in. Uh, all in. Well, okay. You can't talk about Valentine's Day without talking love. Absolutely. Um, so from, from my perspective, both man and, and pastor. pastor. Okay. Um, love is given. Um, uh, the God we serve is called love. The word of God is clear that God is love. So the very essence of love is in God or flows from God. And if, if God made man, therefore, in his image and likeness, then everyone has the capacity really to love if they will uh, draw from the godly essence that God put on the inside of each of us. Um, going deeper, uh, one scripture that everybody, both Christians and non-Christians, I'm sure I've heard before, says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten only son. son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. But I want to take the fact that God so loved, God's expression of love is in giving. And God gave himself, he gave the very best of himself. So I draw my definition or statement of love, therefore, from uh, God's display or manifestation of love as when you give your very best to who it is that you love. The love is given. Love is giving your very, very best. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, Onyekon is certainly going to just key into what you just <laughs> said. <laughs> Aren't you, my dear Onyekon? Okay, um, <laughs> love on Valentine's Day, and then why do we all have everyone just celebrating? You know, is this day when it looks like everyone in the world is celebrating a particular day. Christmas, for example, looks like a day for Christians. Mm. If you're doing Salah and other things, it looks like a day for Muslims. But Valentine's Day is the second most celebrated day in the world. Absolutely. And you know, it brings in everyone, no matter your religion, no matter your beliefs, even if you don't have any, you know, the fact that you don't have any is also something. You know, so all of us are celebrating today and saying that, okay, let me just let you know and remind you for me, it's a day when, if you've been trying to get an opportunity to say, I love you, thank you, or I'm sorry. I think it's a good day to make up, it's a good day to analyze, it's a good day.